Street Charge is the first uh, drop-in complete solution for solar charging of mobile devices. Street Charge was a self-initiated project. In this case, we were really interested in doing something that we thought could help uh, our community enhance some of the things we saw happening in the design of new public spaces around our community. We really saw a lot being done uh, around our area, around New York in general, in more sophisticated uh, use of public spaces. People started spending a lot more time there, we noticed, not just for lunch, but working throughout the day and kind of extending their offices out into the outdoors. The Business Improvement District locally here in our neighborhood gave us an opportunity that we thought was at least worth the first step. After our initial prototypes, uh, which were in, actually installed in umbrellas uh, locally here in, in our neighborhood, we found some things that we expected, some things we didn't expect. We didn't really see a lot of people kind of sitting from their phone dead and you know, sitting there for an hour while it charged up. You know, people sitting for five minutes while they're waiting for somebody taking a charge. It really is kind of a, a more of a top off. People really do understand how the percentage of what's in their device and what's going to take to get them to their next point. We started to see the concept more as kind of an intermittent uh, use concept. After understanding what the potential use case was for the product, we started thinking about the um, design a little bit more critically and how it would stand on its own. We really uh, started to settle on this idea of something that should be kind of feel industrial but also have an organic quality to it. But we were really intrigued by the idea of creating something that was robust and strong and powerful looking but still had a, a softness and a quality to it that spoke to the beauty of drawing power from the sun. Solar power and the visual of solar power is really a big black box. You know, it's, it's something that's slapped onto the side of a building or it's slapped on a street sign as you drive down the highway or, or a telephone poles. They really are eyesores and, and not integrated into the environment. And they, there's kind of a negative visual connotation that already exists for something that's really beautiful of drawing clean power from the sun. And so we were hoping to create something that was a little bit more of an homage to that beauty and spoke to the fact that this was something natural, even though it had, we knew it had to exist, exist in uh, industrially designed environments that already existed. So the initial structure is uh, a steel core. It's a one-piece steel core. The panels that are kind of hung from that core are anodized aluminum. It's uh, very weatherproof, and um, you know the well. We have a very heavy uh, core and base. The rest of the unit is relatively lightweight and sort of hung from that. That has allowed us to really um, have a hollow uh, center and to be able to get everything we need from batteries to the um, charging board, all the wiring, everything existing in the core, and then have the base um, just be there for weight. We you know, originally had a concept you know, well over a year ago. We found a manufacturing partner who was very interested in working with us, uh, and that was Goal Zero, a consumer solar company. They're already designing and engineering and making uh, solar products and have a lot of sources for the components that we needed, and we felt that they were really an ideal partner to um, work with us and help develop the design and manufacture it. At the same time, AT&T had deployed trailers and large charging stations for people after Hurricane Sandy when people really had nothing and no power for extended periods of time. And they were struck by the idea of deploying charging stations on a, on a broader basis um, and really coming at it from, from a different perspective than us. And the great thing about the relationship with AT&T was that they had a lot of uh, existing relationships with public spaces um, in, locally in New York. And so that gave us access to uh, some spaces that we would not have had access to and, and really has um, you know, given the project a whole different life uh, and a whole different level of exposure. And so it's been a fantastic partnership. So the first, we're doing a pilot run here in New York City in all five boroughs at various uh, park locations and other public spaces around the city. The interest is continuing to pour in, so it's realistic to, to see that we could be outside of New York uh, relatively quickly um, and start to see them expand definitely nationally, hopefully uh, internationally. We think that there are potential humanitarian ways to think about the product, that it is very simple, it is a drop-in solution, it's very robust. Um, and so empowering people with uh, solar charging um, in remote areas, uh, you know, in, in different type, types of parts of the developing world is an interesting way to think about the product. It would probably have to be a very different product, but 
there's, there's some potential for that kind of evolution. Also in disaster relief, and that's really the angle that AT&T initially looked at this project from, and so that's a very interesting thing to think about as well, is how can we uh, make something that can be more quickly deployed uh, in the event that it needs to be uh, put into uh, those types of situations.